Okay, so I have not all, but most of the uh, plywood cut for the carcass. And I'll probably use some extra for the drawer faces. I'm not sure yet. I may go over with some poplar. I have some uh, poplar over here. <clears throat> some slabs of poplar. And, or I have um, some walnut and some white oak. Here, let me uh, paint it. I just white oak too. I'll probably use the white oak for the top and maybe the face, the face frame and the poplar maybe for the, uh, the uh, drawer fronts faces. Um, I have some Luan here for the bottom of the the back of the dresser and maybe the uh, bottom of the drawers. I'm still on the fence with that. I'm going to play that by ear. It's a little flimsy so I may go to something a little thicker. But it has worked on these other drawers cabinets I built in the shop but that's more shop grade this is going into a a room so not as be perfect but I want it to be somewhat stable so it's going to be the dresser is going to be 48 inches long um, about 32 inches high uh, with four drawers two up top smaller drawers and two longer drawers in the bottom so that's what the plan is right now also I'll use some pine some five quarter pine probably for some of the um, the um, bottom uh, pieces for the foundation and the, the platform. Um, I'm going to play that out by ear. We'll see what I have left over with the hardwoods. All right, but then we'll see what we got here. So put some a little glue on the bottom of the side panel. We're gonna line it up. Just little squares. Brad nails in. I'll do the other side, same exact thing. And then I'll Problem with the glue, it's really cold in here, so it's really not going to probably bind bind as well as it should. We'll throw it out on there anyway. Put just a little bit more on.
Moving over the cabinet clamp at the top. Take some of this topper. frame is on. I might add another piece down the bottom here between the two big drawers I'm going to put in. I'm still on the fence with that. Uh, but the rest is in. I'm just glued it up. Put a couple pin nails in it. Brad nails and uh, 
let it dry for a little bit. It's going to be hard to dry in this cold. It's like 30 degrees today. So I have a little heater on, but I don't know if that's going to help much. It's, it's so cold, but I also drove a couple of pin nails, or brad nails in too. And I'll clamp it a little bit, let it sit. Uh, like I said, I may add another uh, piece down the, towards the bottom there, going across just for the little space between the two uh, drawers I'm going to put in. I'm debating that now. If I do, I'll just add that later. Just glue it and pin it in. side. Alright, so let's put a cross brace in the center here and that will help hold the, the drawers separate from each other when I install them. So I'll have to finagle with this a little bit. But it's starting to come together now. It's got a lot of cleaning up to do. And built the drawers in the top still. And then the bottom uh, foundation platform I want to build. I want to cut a um, couple more um, little top bracket pieces. Bracket pieces up top here. So I'm going to throw, throw them up here. And I'm going to cut the little groove uh, 5 16 of an inch. For tabletop fasteners, just another uh, place to put when I mount the top. I have a somewhere to uh, put the, the tabletop fasteners in. So I'm gonna put these in now. Lower the blade. So I can put the tabletop fastener up to it. And that looks good. Lock it in. Alright, we'll cut these grooves and we'll put these inside the carcass. It's another, like I said, place to mount the top. Okay, so now I'm going to cut some poplar at 23 and th three quarter inches in length, and they're going to be about six inches uh, in height uh, for the drawer fronts. So these would be the face frames, and I'm also going to see if I have enough to make the actual drawers out of this poplar too. It's a little thin, um, but it may work. I'm, 
uh, or I might just go buy some pine just for the, the, the drawer bodies themselves, but we'll see. So I have all this poplar over here too. I'm going to cut, cut up for the face frames for the, um, the bottom two drawers. So they're going to be about 11 and a half inches high and about 40, uh, I think 42 inches or maybe uh, they might be 48 inches uh, long. I think I'll measure that again. But that's where we're at with these. Instead of putting, pulling it back out and putting it in the skull saw, I just, just cut it and then I'll just staple it in at the end. I'm not going to do it yet though. some dowel joining for the tops. I'm using a Wood River dowel jig and I'm just using 3 8 uh, dowel, dowel pieces. trick for the last one, the middle one. I have these little dowel pointers or finders, I guess you call them. And make sure these guys line up. Actually, let's throw some uh, temporary dowel joints in. Just to line them up. Uh, 
little ones here. We'll use these guys just for just to line these guys up. put this together and we'll have to glue it up. So, just with the glue, I like to throw some uh, oak cut off uh, sawdust I had left over. Just throw it in the joint there, just let it dry. Let it dry for a little bit. And next, we will start the drawers. So, I'll let this dry overnight. Um, and we'll go from there.
It's on the bottom and top of it. All right, the drawers are in. This guy still got to clean them up and everything. They're still a little, a little tight, but the soft close is really close. It looks like it doesn't even work. Okay. 